Hello YouTube and the wonderful people who've uh, subscribed to my little YouTube offerings. Well, as you can see, I'm out on the Himalayan again. I've um, been to a, a garage, got myself a meal deal, and I'm going out to the countryside to do a little bit of videoing, enjoy riding my bike, and uh, have my dinner. And I just wanted to share a few of my thoughts with you. Let's just talk about the Himalayan again first, if you don't mind. Um, this bike seems to have rekindled my love affair with motorcycling. Um, I'd actually reached the stage where, uh, for personal reasons which I'll not go into, um, I'd had enough of motorcycling things happened and it just so knocked the wind out of my sails uh, and I'd had enough and I came that close to calling it a day uh, that's the main reason why I had the V-Strom for sale I'd just had enough I wasn't using the bike uh, my heart wasn't in it anymore for personal reasons and um, I'd had enough uh, and then I put the bike up for sale uh, add the normal time wasters tyre kickers call it what you will uh, and I thought hmm what shall I do I saw the little Himalayan for sale for silly money really in my opinion money I could easily I could afford so I thought oh well I'll trade the, the uh, V-Strom in and get that little Himalayan see if it rekindles anything in my spirit regarding motorcycling and it has done it seems to have done it I'm, I'm enjoying it again I'm enjoying riding a bike again um, and I'm enjoying the sort of uh, uh, psychology that this bike offers. It offers freedom, obviously, but just it doesn't encourage you to do anything bravado-wise. It, it's just it's just a nice plod around, enjoy the freedom type bike, and it's just ticking the boxes for me, which I'm really pleased about because I had come really close to just calling it a day with biking right that's that out of the way um, been watching YouTube as I do I've subscribed to a guy called uh, Wee Jaunt up in, uh, I think he lives up in Scotland he's a Scottish chap anyway he's, uh, I like his channel uh, who else have we got John Porson of tried to connect with him I want to meet him sometime and uh, have a sandwich with him seems a decent guy also he's got a Himalayan so yeah little things like that uh, right okay let's move on I've been thinking getting a little bit philosophical are we a, are we a species of complainers have we become a species of complainers does nothing satisfy us anymore I, 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 can't, I can only speak personally, I'm quite happy, plodding around with on my little motorbike, I'm a very lucky guy, I've got a lovely family, I've got some decent friends, uh, I'm lucky, but on the whole have we become a nation or a, or a species of complainers, never happy, never happy, maybe we're looking, trying too hard, I don't know. Like when you look at um, reviews for this little bike, the 
people saying things, oh, it's no good, it won't do this, it won't do that, you know. Front brakes are rubbish. They're not actually, the front brakes are fine. You know, but we always seem something to find something to complain about. Anyway, getting a bit too heavy there, so I won't talk about that anymore. Just enjoy the scenery for... Oh, I will mention something. Yeah. I've been joined, I joined a voluntary litter picking group about seven months ago. Longer probably, probably ten months ago. I met some fantastic people on that. Uh, people picking, well we, we basically pick litter up voluntarily. Uh, and it's a never ending job. But we did one area recently where I live and uh, we moved, I'm not exaggerating, probably moved about three skips full of litter over a period of about eight weeks and lo and behold somebody's come along and uh, dumped a load of fly tipping rubbish again <laughs> oh dear so what have we become folks what sort of society are we becoming anyway yeah getting too deep getting too deep Just enjoy the scenery for a bit and I'll be quiet. how quickly those corners tightened up there I'm tempted to go back and have another go at that see if I can do it any better <laughs> no I'm not bothered just shows you they did tighten up quite quickly perhaps I weren't concentrating enough yeah I'm up in one of my favourite places again uh, north of Sheffield Bradfield area Come out for a sandwich and a look at the trees. Another one of my unedited raw footage videos. I actually admire people that can edit videos. Uh, people who are prepared to sit down and make a real effort. Uh, I'm not like that other patients so I just do my own thing just do my little videos mainly for my own peace of mind obviously this is my uh, this is my way of unwinding I think that's probably the thing that kept me um, the deciding factor that stopped me from throwing the towel in I saw was, was sort of thinking in the back of my mind if I do throw the towel in with a motorbike in well how am I going to unwind how am I going to find some me time away from being dad's taxi and Mr DIY man Mr dog walker man etc etc it's a brilliant place out here there's very um, very rarely any heavy traffic it's ideal for a Himalayan out here scenery is as good as any <laughs> you 
Yeah, so obviously I'm enjoying the Himalayan and uh, I'm glad I kept, uh, I'm glad I decided to stay with biking. Seems to have rekindled a, a bit of a passion with me, this little bike. I'm hoping next year to um, do some camping. touring. I did have a little trip sketched in for um, for Scotland uh, this summer that's just gone but I didn't do it uh, my heart wasn't in it and I just didn't go but I had it all booked, I had all the bed and breakfast booked and everything but I just didn't go I, I just wasn't in it, my head wasn't in the right place but uh, 2022 I think I'll revisit that idea and see if I can get myself up to um, sort of southwest Scotland uh, that area above Carlisle uh, and have a, have a little bit of a tour around that area maybe camping or maybe Put some bed and breakfast together. We'll see. Anyway, I'm rambling. Well, it's autumn, people. The leaves are here. I don't know. What's up this road? Let's go up this one. Mall in. Yeah, we'll have a look. We'll have a little bimble up here. No particular place to go. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that this uh, this little motorbike could be the best money I've ever spent. Which way shall we go? Which way shall we go? Uh, let's go. Let's go right. Oh, I'm getting ready for that sandwich. I use it's a drift ghost um, I've had it about two and a half years now and uh, it's been good I've enjoyed owning it I've had a, had a bit of fun doing the videos um, it was quite a big investment at the time I think it was nearly 300 pound I think they're obviously a lot cheaper now but yeah some fun with it, got some good memories. Mmm, beautiful fresh air. It's it's not smell-o-vision, you'd appreciate it a lot more. I ain't got a clue where I am, apart from I'm up in Bradfield somewhere. Every time you come round here, I find a different road. I'll get my bearings before long, no doubt. Chuck, 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 chuck. Thump, thump, thump. 
Keep this in second gear and get round here. Go on, go on, go on, go on, lad. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Chug, 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 chug. Off we go. Yep, lovely. <laughs> so, go on. Go on. A bit more. Third gear. <laughs> it's not going to pull your arms off, but it's fun. <laughs> oh, I do know where I am. Yeah. How did I get here? weird. It's a labyrinth of country roads this place. Right, I'm going to get up top of this hill and I'm going to have my sandwich. Sorry my videos aren't very good. <laughs> uh, they're not very good at all I don't think. They're, it's just what it is isn't it? It's just what it is. I do apologise that they're not very good. <laughs> Just raw footage. Oh, it's nice standing up on this little bike and it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. <laughs> Away we go. Yay! <laughs> yep, thanks for viewing everybody. I'm going to stop and have a sandwich. Uh, road close, okay. <laughs> this one then. <laughs> uh, ah then, where's this young lass going? Does she know? Or does she even care? <laughs> She's going down here. It says road close. Ah. Right folks, I'm gonna go to the top of this hill, spend another couple of, spend another 30 seconds with me, if you will. That's brilliant, that uh, buzzer thing on the indicators. I could highly recommend that. Idiot proof. Right, go on, lad. Chug up here in third gear. Go on. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> right, I know where I am. I'm going to stop here, folks. And I'm going to jump off the bike. Oh, there's a bench there. I'm going to sit on that bench there. And I'm going to have my dinner. So. Massive thanks for viewing. Watching my videos. Yep, nice little bike, no question. A lot of fun. Take care everybody, and uh, whatever you're doing, as always, stay safe and be happy. Bye.